What's good guys, welcome back to another exciting edition of Sports Update Ghana and today I'll be telling you some good news because four Ghanaian players won a trophy over the weekend and I can't wait to share that with you so if you want to know more please subscribe to the channel, like and share, we'll be back to bring you more details. So guys, let's start it off from the MLS where three Ghanaian players, namely Jonathan Mensah, Harrison Afu and Emmanuel Boateng. You guys may not know Emmanuel Boateng, but I definitely know Jonathan Mensah and Harrison Afu for the Black Stars. Well, they helped their club, Columbus Crew, to win the Major League Soccer Cup, which is played in the US. Yes, so um, Columbus Crew defeated Seattle Sounders, the defending champions in Columbus, Ohio. Yes, so uh, the game began this way. So Harrison Afu grabbed an assist in that game. You know, when it comes to the finals, there's something about Harrison Afu that I like so much. If you monitored him whilst he was at experience, he helped the club uh, to win the CAF Champions League. And um, he, he either scores a goal or grabs an assist in that game. He's very, very instrumental when it comes to finals. And I hope that uh, it materializes it in Ghana's next uh, African competition where we, when we reach the final definitely we'll count on Harrison Afo to, to get us a goal or assist a goal. I like your father he's a right back and tries as much as possible uh, for the club to get a goal. Yes yeah, so um, Harrison Afo grabbed an assist in that game he passed the ball to Argentinian uh, player Lucas De Lorayan who scored the first goal for Columbus Q before um, Derek Etienne added the second goal and Seattle Sanders, Charlie, defending champions, everybody was looking forward to them to win the, uh, the cup for the second time but unfortunately they couldn't and in the final minutes of the game Lucas De Lorian grabbed the second goal in that game. Yes, so it, that uh, winning the trophy makes Jonathan Mensah who is the captain, he became the captain this season and it makes him the first African player to lead um, American club to win the MLS club. Yeah, so it's a prestigious achievement for Jonathan Mensah and wishing all the best in the years ahead. Yes, so um, Tito Saunders, they won, the, um, they won it as I've said um, a year ago and they were looking forward to defend it for the past five years. They've been to the MLS finals on four, I think six or five years they've been to the MLS final on four occasions so the MLS this is how it's played it's played in two conferences so you know when you follow your basketball very well the NBA you know that we have the Eastern Conference and we have the Western Conference so the same for football and Columbus Crew play in the Eastern Conference while Seattle Sounders play in the Western Conference and after uh, they, they are placed in a group and after that um, the team that gels the most will go to the semi-finals and play the playoffs then you proceed to play in the final so that's how it occurred that they went to the finals and Jonathan Mason uh, grabbed an assist as well in the playoffs as well so yes both Ghanaian players were very instrumental in that game and Columbus crew the last time they made it to the finals was in 2015 it was only Harrison Afu who was on the team by then and they lost that um, final to Portland team oh. who had a Ghanaian goalkeeper in their post in the name of Adams Parasi and they were able to defeat Columbus Crew at that time but uh, fast forward <laughs> here we are and you know, Columbus Crew have won the uh, MLS Cup thanks to the uh, captaincy of Jonathan Mensah and with um, another instrumental or monumental effort from Harrison Afu yes so another Ghanaian player who featured uh, who plays for um, Columbus Crew is Emmanuel Boateng. A lot of you guys may not know Emmanuel Boateng, but Emmanuel Boateng has been um, in the MLS for quite some time now. He used to play for LA Galaxy. Yes, um, most Ghanaian players used to see him in the LA Galaxy team. Well, he's moved to Columbus Crew now. And unfortunately, one player who I'm sad that he couldn't win the trophy was Lala Abubakar. He left the team and he's gone to another club. But I wish him the best. I hope he uh, performs so well such that he's, able, he's also able to reach the stage. But Lala Sabubaka, well, maybe he'll be invited to the uh, under-20 team when they progress uh, from the Wafu Nations Cup. But that being said, well, we can take a video of how the Ghanaian players celebrated.
thankful to our fans. This is for them. We're so grateful for their support and their love. So this is for them. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so that's it, guys. But the three Ghanaian players were not the only people to win a trophy over the weekend. There was also something happening in Africa, precisely South Africa, where Ghanaian goalkeeper Richard of Ofori helped Orlando Pirates to win their 10th MTN 8 trophy. Yes, so Richard Ofori joined Orlando Pirates this season from Mattersburg, and, uh, in, which is also a South African club. Richard Ofori used to play straight with while all stars before moving on to south africa to explore more yes yeah, so um orlando pirates defeated celtics by two goals to one on saturday and it was very very um, um, surprising how orlando pirates were able to achieve this feat because we've been trying as much as possible to win this trophy for the past six years orlando pirates have won the uh, mtn8 cup for nine times and they were looking forward to their tenth Cup, but it always eludes them anytime they try uh, uh, to go to the finals or win the trophy. So, for the past six years, Orlando Pirates have not won the MTN 8 Cup. But immediately, as um, immediately when Richard Ofori stepped in, guess what? They were able to win it. So, they defeated Celtic by two goals to one. Unfortunately, Richard Ofori was unable to grab a clean sheet, but yes, they didn't concede many goals which helped this team to win the game by two goals to one yes so Orlando Pirates have now won the MTN and Cup for the 10th time and it's also the first trophy um, Richard Ofori has won yes so let's check out the video of that as well we played well especially first half coming back you know from one note of the and second half you know we got an early one you know again and I just want to applaud Lodge, you know, for coming in, creating a penalty, especially after him undergoing a knee surgery and then getting a penalty as well. I think, you know, he did well for us today. Just want to applaud him and, re and to the rest of the guys, you know, we did well, especially again second half and then we scored the goal. You know, I wish they were here, you know, to, to celebrate with us, you know, but this one was very much important, you know, not only for us players, but everyone was involved in this one, you know, the management, Fans, our families, as players, it's been a long time, you know, the club has won the trophy, you know. And for us, this group, you know, bringing it home, you know, I think they'll be proud of us, you know. Now, focus has to shift, you know, to the league, you know, and trying to get me to one point. Well, guys, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'm glad I brought you this update. If you, are, if you like what you are seeing, please subscribe to the channel, like, and share. Peace out.